हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर वन सम इम्पोर्टेंट नोट्स क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एन सी आर टी एक्सरसाइज सोल्यूशन एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स टुडे वी हैव टू जस्ट लर्न थ्रू दिस एंड वट एवर द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन प्लीज राइट दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स इन योर नॉट बुक आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल एन्जॉय दिस वीडियो बिकॉज यू हैव टू राइट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स यू डोंट हैव टू फाइंड फ्रॉम योर टेक्सट बुक सो यू हैव टू राइट द ऑल दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स बाई योर सेल्फ एज आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू हियर इन द वीडियो so this was our first things that in the 8th grade science crop productions and management you can see here as i am explaining you about the crop production and management actually in this chapter we will specially study about what are the sections in this chapter the management which deals of the fundamental of crop productions and its management specially we will discuss about the few examples of crops the seasonal crops like kharif crops and rabi crops after then the best practices of the crop productions agricultural practices how the crop productions are specially agricultural practices are done as i am talking about the preparation of soil sowing adding manures and fertilizers fertilizers irrigation protection from the weeds harvesting storage crop production and management crop production and management covers the following topics as you can see here agricultural practices basic practices of crop production preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizers irrigation protection from the weeds harvesting storage food from animals now we will move towards the ncert exercises it's very easy very short also so in this video especially we will solve all the and qu question related to the ncert exercise as you will solve you will be able to know that what are the questions and what are the solution both the things i have given in this video you can just go through here first of all all the questions i have given select the correct word from the following list and fill in the blanks means here options are already given you can go through that and after then you have to write all these question also and answers also in your notebook so let's start with the first question here you can see all the four question answer i have given here the same kind of plants grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place is called crop the first step before growing the crop is called preparation of soil damaged seed would float on the top of water for growing a crop sufficient sunlight and water and nutrition from the soil are essential as we have seen all the four options and after then if we talk about the question number 2 match items in a column a and column b kharif crops rabi crops chemical fertilizers and organic manure you can see here in the option b also some of the options are given till e so all the answers also i have written here you can see from all both the sides i have given you the answers and question both so you can see here kharif crops the right answer is e paddy and maize rabi crops wheat gram and pea if we talk about the chemical fertilizers urea and super phosphate organic manure animal excreta cow dung urine and plant waste so these was our match the following now let comes to the question number 3 give two examples of each kharif crops and rabi crops as i had explained you in the video also the kharif crop example paddy and maize and the rabi crops example wheat and gram now let comes to the question number 4 write a paragraph in your words on each of the following preparation of soil and sowing weeding and threshing all these four especially it's just like a define but you have to write very carefully about all these four as i have written for you you can copy these answers in your notebook after copying you can go through it as if i talk about the preparation of soil you can see you can take out your notebook you can write this answer it is the first method to follow before growing a crop this method is usually employed for loosening the soil to allow the root to penetrate deep into it the loosening of the soil helps in the growth of several soil microbes earthworms etc which enrich the soil with humus and other essential nutrients plants require nutrients for their proper growth and functioning the process of loosening is called tilling or plowing the soil tilling of the soil brings the nutrient rich soil to the top this helps the plants to utilize the nutrients for that growth so this was the define of preparation of soil if we talk about the sowing let's read about the sowing also you can see here you can write this sowing define also in your notebook sowing is another important step in crop production it is the process of placing the seed 
in or on the soil for the future growth the seeds that are selected for growing should be of good quality this will improve the net yield of the crop sowing is usually done with the help of either a traditional tools or a seed drill the traditional tool is shaped with a uh, funnel it was used earlier for sowing seeds nowadays seed drills that make the use of tractors are used for sowing seeds this tool disperses seeds uniformly and sows seeds at proper depth sowing by this method saves time and also protects the seed from the birds so this was the define of sowing now we'll move towards the weeding can you define weeding by yourself because this weeding is a little bit long if you want then you can do by yourself okay so as you can see the weeding defined as i have written in for you this is the undesirable plants that grow along with the crop that are known as weeds weeding is the process of removing these weeds like xanthium parathium etc are also common weeds complete with the crop for nutrients light and space as a result crop plants get less nutrients light and space for their development this is turn reduces their productivity thus various weeding methods are employed some important questions or some important weeding methods are weeds can be controlled using weedicides it is a chemical which is sprayed in the fields to kill all available weeds weedicides are not harmful to the crops tilling before sowing of crops also helps in removing weeds tilling up roots the weeds the best time for removal of weed is before they produce flowers and seeds so if you are removing the weeds from your field then it is the best time when the flowers comes into the weeds now the third point is the manual method of removing weeds is with the help of kurpi it involves regular uprooting or cutting out the weeds close to the ground now the main define if we talk about is our threshing can you tell me what is threshing nowadays you may have seen that especially if we talk about the weeds then you have seen that uh, how wheat plants are giving the wheat seeds and the husk of the wheat so the threshing is the process of separating grains or seeds from the chaff it is done after the harvesting the crop it is usually carried out with the help of a machine known as combine this machine is a combined harvester and thresher it harvests plants as well as cleans grains so these were our answers now if we talk about the fifth question explain how fertilizers are different from the manual I means this is the differentiation questions so first of all you have to make a bracket in the bracket divide into the two parts one part fertilizer another part manual you can copy this answer as if you are copying i will explain also you can write in your notebook also first things fertilizers are commercially available plant nutrients second manure is a natural substance prepared by the decomposition of animal excreta and plant waste they can be organic or inorganic in manure especially if i talk about the fertilizer if i talk about the manure manure is known to have a large quantity of organic material and very little amount of plant nutrients they ensure healthy growth and development of the plants by providing them with the nitrogen phosphorus potassium etc they help in enriching the soil with the organic matter and nutrients if we talk about the adding of fertilizers to the soil requires special guidelines such as dose time post addition precaution etc to be followed but the addition of manure does not require any special guidelines wherever or whatever you want to throw you can throw into the form of manure a fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil manure provides humus to the soil and it increases the soil fertility its excessive use causes the water pollution it cannot replenish organic matter of the soil means if you are putting the excess amount of fertilizer into the your field then it can remove the nutrition or it causes the water pollution it cannot replenish all the organic matter present in your soil but if you put manure it protects the environment and helps in recycling from the waste so by this way you can write all the difference of 
fertilizer and manure i hope all of you are understanding the videos if you are not understanding then drop your doubt into the comment box section sir we are not able to understand so i can explain you on the boot after the fifth question if we are moving towards the sixth question you can take a screenshot also if you are not able to write whatever i am explaining that time you can take a screenshot and after taking a screenshot just take the pic and write it very carefully so let's see question number six it is represented in your page number 14 if you don't have ncrt book then we have already sent you the link of ncrt through that you can download ncrt textbook and you can write all the questions and answers are already i have explained let comes towards the question number six what is irrigation describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water so can you tell me what is irrigation what are the two methods of irrigation irrigation is the process by which water is supplied to the crops at the different intervals the time and frequency of irrigation varies according to the different seasons crops and soil types there are various sources of irrigations such as wells canals rivers dams ponds and lakes the two methods of irrigation which help in the conservation of water are sprinkler system and drip system what is sprinkler system this is, this system is more useful on uneven land having fewer water supplies in this method the water is supplied using pipes to one or more central locations within the field when water is allowed to flow under the high pressure with the help of a pump it gets sprinkled on the crops so this was sprinkler system if we talk about the drip system in this system water is delivered at or near the roots of the plants drop by drop this is the most efficient method of irrigation as there is no wastage of water at all this method is important in areas where water availability is poor so this was question number six if we talk about the question number seven if wheat is sown as the kharif season what would happen discuss if we wheat is sown in the kharif season from june to october then the whole crop might get destroyed because of many factors such as lack of optimum temperature adaptability availability of paste etc kharif season includes the rainy season which is not favorable for the growth of wheat crop therefore the wheat crop should not be shown during the summer season or kharif season now let it comes towards the question number 8 explain how soil gets affected by the continuous explain how soil get affected by the continuous plantation of crops in a field you can write these answers very carefully you can stop the video you can write these answers in your notebook continuous plantation of crops in a field makes the soil poor in certain nutrients such as nitrogen phosphorus potassium etc plants require nutrients for the proper growth and functioning with the farmer continuous grows crops one after other then all the nutrients available in the soil reduce and the crop will decreases automatically question number nine you can see what are weeds how can we control the weeds you can write this answer you can stop the video after then you can go ahead you can see after then you can write into your notebook all this question number nine and after getting question number ten you can see the tenth question arrange the following boxes into the proper chart or sugarcane crops you can arrange it very carefully here the boxes are arranged your question number 10 question number 11 here some boxes are there you have to just arrange the boxes so here is the question of your box and here is your answers of your boxes you can write these answers in your ncrt textbook or in your notebook so after this we are completing our exercise as you have seen the total there are how many questions can you tell me there are total 11 questions as i had explained you till the 9 and 9 i had informed you to write in your notebook you can write the ninth question is little bit big so you can write the ninth question after then you can write the 10th question and after then you can move towards your 11th question as i had informed you that all these answers must be written in your notebook so this was our chapter especially about the class 8 Science chapter one important notes and the question answers and NCRT exercise solution. You can write all these things in your notebook. Thanks for watching. Share this video with your friends so they can also write the question answer. Thank you. Thank you very much.